If you're watching this video right now, you're probably already interested in one of the products by Montec or Dope. So in case you're unaware, Montec and Dope Snow are the same company, they just are under Ride Store, which is a company in Sweden. So they're like sister companies. And if you're like me, you probably saw a bunch of awesome things that one of these two companies provides on their website. Because let's be real, their stuff looks sick. But you probably looked for reviews, like any normal person would, and you couldn't really find any. Their website gives you some reviews, but they all seem kind of weird and fake, and you can't actually leave your own review, which is interesting. Or you saw a social media post, and you saw all the comments that are like, I love my Montex stuff, which is, you know, which is legit. I mean, people do like it. Before I talk about my jacket, which I got from Montex, I'm gonna talk about this uh, hoodie I got from Montex. Uh, this is the Montex uh, Dune fleece hoodie, and it's like the white, gray, tie-dye. It is actually extremely comfortable, super thick, and I went outside a lot in it the last few days, and it's been really cold and snowing here, and it's really warm, and it has this sweet hood that has this like neck gainer thing. <laughs> Overall, the quality of this is really nice. They're super thick. It's fleeced like all the way inside. There's no crap liner or anything like that. The only thing that I've had a problem with so far is that I had some strings coming out of the stitches around my neck, like here, somewhere in my hood, which I think is pretty, which is bad. It's a bad quality thing. So overall, it's really good. I'm gonna see how long it lasts for. Basically, Dope Snow and Montec seem kind of sketchy, and but they also seem like they have really cool stuff, and they could be real just by how they portray themselves, right? So I order their stuff, and everything seems legit so far, but we're gonna do real reviewing and testing today. So you guys out there, get the best knowledge you can, and then you're not just looking at some review that's just trying on the clothes. That's not what we're doing today. We're talking about real review. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing before I get to the jacket, which is obviously the most important part, is this dope, uh, like, balaklava, like, gainer thing. So this is the only thing I actually got from Dope, even though they're the same company, so you can order whatever you like from both. You can order. I worn this in the mountain a few times already, and it's super warm. And I mean, it just goes over your head. You can look on Dope Snow, and you can see this in their like, I don't know, one of their sections on their store. But this is like 25 bucks, which is not bad, and it covers your whole neck, or like a well. And there's a hood on it, and it's super warm, and it's the same exact material and like thickness as their Mon as the Montec uh, hoodie. And there's been no problems with it. It's not, I don't think it's gonna rip. There's no strings missing or anything like that. Seems quality. I would give this an A plus. Oh yeah, and the hoodie I'd give like an eight and a half out of 10. It's super comfortable. The fitting is a little weird. They're kind of long, which like I'm wearing a medium right now and I'm 5'8", which is like, and they're kind of long, but the sleeves are just right for me, so I don't want to get small. Now for the most important part, the ski jacket, or snowboard jacket, snow jacket. So, this jacket seems pretty good. I'm going to do a water test here in a second, but it fits extremely well. I got the shell, the inside material is extremely nice, which I'm very surprised at for a low price. There is a nice, like, soft patch of stuff here. All the stitching is super nice. The neck has a liner, even though it's the shell, to like not rub your face. There's zippers everywhere. There is a sweet zipper right here for your pass. Um, everything seems waterproofed. This jacket supposedly has 20K waterproofing. Uh, we're gonna test it here in a second. So the jacket fits really nice and it's a pretty good price for like 220. Um, and it's got a lot of movement and yeah. But let's test what really matters, which is waterproofing. Also, the quality seems really strong. I doubt I could rip this apart. I'm gonna, I, there's no way. This is just as strong as a burden, as my burden jacket, so as, as far as I can tell. <laughs> right here, we have real Gore-Tex from Burton and we're just gonna pour some water on it and compare it to the Montec jacket. So, as you can see, there doesn't appear to be any soaking whatsoever. 
Ooh, this is really warm. I have a heat lamp right above me. This is very warm. <laughs> let me, uh, I'm gonna spread this around. Rub this around and give me, let me, let me, let me get a towel <laughs> and check what it feels like on the inside. So this should, not only is it not even wet on the outside at all, I'm pretty sure this should have no water on the inside whatsoever. Which it does not. It is extremely dry on the inside still, right where the water was at, even where I rubbed it around in. Now let's test the Montec jacket. <laughs> Here's what I believe is the biggest downside of Montec is that they have their own brand of waterproofing, so you're not gonna be getting Gore-Tex, but it's still rated as 20K for waterproofing and breathability. So it should do exactly the same thing. Oh, all my water's going from the stitches over there, but that should be fine. Look at that. All right, so there's water on the jacket. Rub it around here. Rub it around. <laughs> Get water everywhere. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Well, I'll test on the inside now. Let me get a towel here. Okay, so that was just the pocket hole. It is completely dry in here. Even in the stitches where the water all collected at, it's actually completely dry on the inside. I'm very impressed, actually. I'm really impressed. Holds up just as well as Gore-Tex. So as you can see, Montec and Dope Snow jackets are very good. They're waterproof. They work just as well as my Gore-Tex burden stuff does. Their stuff is relatively cheap. It's really comfortable. That's honestly one of my favorite. That's honestly my favorite part, is their stuff all fits me really well and it's really, I don't know, I like it, so I like the way it feels, especially this hoodie. This hoodie is, besides the fact that there's a little few stitches <laughs> messed up, this is probably my favorite thing I got. The jacket is super sick too, but um, yeah, everything seems really good. I would recommend using this brand. I think one of the biggest downsides they have right now is that they're just so new and they come across as so Kind of like, hmm, is, they come across as like an Instagram ad company, right? So it's like, who really knows if they're good or not? But I'm an actual snowboarder. I have tested them. Their stuff is good. I'd recommend using them. Tell your friends. Sponsor me, Montec and Dope. <laughs> or Montec. I like Montec over Dope, personally, because they're the same, but Montec has better designs, in my opinion. And I hate the Dope logo on all their stuff. I hate the word, I just hate that it says dope in giant letters on their stuff. Well, Montec is a lot more sleek. I don't know if you can read that from here, but there's just one little Montec word right here, and there's just this little mountain right here instead of just big lettering, anyways. So yeah, if you have any other questions, I'll answer them. If there's anything I didn't cover, just let me know in the comments, and I will answer them literally within like a few hours, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, thanks for watching. This has been a Wild Times Review. Hope to see you next time.